we get energy from food. Some food are rich in protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and mineral. All these food items, they give us energy for doing work. So what is work? See this sharpener, it position is here. When I apply force and push sharpener to other side, it change its position from A to B. It means work is said to be done. Work and energy. Work is said to be done only if the object changes its position due to the force used on it. As in this picture, they are showing that one person applying the force on the table so that he can change the position of this table. See in this picture, a person tried to move a big stone or boulder. Is it possible? No. He applied full force over this big stone or boulder. But this boulder will not change its position even after applying great force. Even after applying great force. So, in this case we will say that work is not done. Reason? Because this boulder, it will not change its position. Energy. Capacity to do work. We use, we use energy in different forms. Like electrical energy, heat energy from sun, chemical energy from batteries and many more devices, wind energy where we use air, hydroenergy from water, geothermal energy from from interior of earth. In this chapter, we will discuss the six forms of energy. Electrical energy. You use electrical energy to run fan, electric bulb, electrical devices like washing machine, blender, mixture and grinder, hair dryer, refrigerator, iron, etc. And we know electrical trains also run with the help of electrical energy. In heat energy, we know that sun is the main source of energy on the earth. The energy obtained from the sun is called solar energy. Plants use solar energy to prepare their own food. That process is known as photosynthesis. All living things depend on green plants for their food. Hence, the sun energy is present in all living things. Solar energy is also used in solar light, solar panels, solar cells, etc. Heat energy is also used in electrical heater, iron, etc. Due to solar energy, plants grow properly and prepare their own food by the leaves and that process we know what it is known as photosynthesis. See this flow of energy chart in which the main source of energy on earth is sun. They have shown and we know. How plants are used this one. 
then from that plant we take wood for burning we get heat and light from it and from the crops we also get energy because we get eatable from the plants herbivores depend on plants similarly the sun energy for the formation of fossil fuels fossil fuel like petrol used by the vehicles for get energy fossil fuel like coal through thermal plants used to prepare electricity which is used by or consumed by us at home different appliances we use like uh, microwave television then electrical energy consumed by hair dryer washing machine mean different sorts of electrical devices we use at home for all this purpose we get energy from sun so we know the main source of energy on earth is sun we know consumer depend on herbivore omnivore decomposes quenches all are depend on each other forming the food chain and food chain we know started from the plants plants depend on sun for preparing their food in presence of carbon dioxide water and chlorophyll so basically in all living beings the energy is supplied from the sun directly or indirectly chemical energy energy present in food materials is in form of chemical energy a dry cell that is using torches also has chemical energy stored in it lightning a matchstick you know this one is a matchstick and it has black color powdery substance in front of it this one is a chemical when we rub this chemical with this rough side then this chemical show the reaction we get heat and light from it and cooking involve chemical energy as well as heat energy you know very well how your mother prepare the food how she cook next is wind energy the energy obtained from wind or air is called wind energy it is used to move windmill and this windmill are used to prepare electricity in remote area we use windmill to produce electricity it is eco friendly hydro energy energy is obtained from falling water is known as hydro energy hydro energy is used to produce electricity in hydro power station how electricity is supply to our house or different areas power houses where electricity get generated from here sub stations are there from sub station to this sort of pylon or high voltage national grids are assembled at different areas then sub station with different voltage arranged then it supplied to the factories then local power lines are arranged from local power lines to sub station with the less voltage from that the less voltage carrying sub station it is supplied to our domestic users mean our houses geothermal energy the energy obtained from interior of the earth is called geothermal energy it is used for cooling purposes for generating electricity and to provide heat 
steam coming out from reservoir or hot water few miles or more below our surface 20 countries are consuming electricity produced by geothermal united state is the world largest producer of electricity from geothermal another hawaii california all these places they generate electricity through geothermal power the energy from natural sources like sun wind and flowing water are called renewable sources of energy so this three line you have to underline as they are always available to us remaining chapter in next video we will discuss you have to revise chapter up to geothermal energy no down revision test what is work second question what are different forms of energy third what is the main source of energy on earth note down this question in notebook thank you